Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Select Reserve. In this video, I will show you how to use debugger feature of Select Reserve to inspect any kind of dynamic element. So it's, this is really, really very good innovation because before this, like there were lots of element which were like almost impossible to inspect. But now with this, it has made possible to inspect every single element so uh, just go to any website where you find that you feel that a dynamic element is there which you are not able to inspect so one example i will show you here before using selector sub i will really request you to go to goivo.com and here type anything let's say bangalore and try to inspect this element without using selector sub and then you jump to this feature to use this feature okay so when you will try this one as soon as you click anywhere like you do right click then that immediately will disappear so uh, if you ins try to inspect from here then also you would not be able to inspect like this now it is visible if you will try to inspect that's gone now so it is really difficult and in fact like by pressing f12 that also doesn't help like uh, that debugger uh, turning on the debugger by pressing f8 and all that doesn't solve this problem so it's not that easy now how you can use the selector sub debugger feature just open selector sub if you are new to selector sub i would really request you to go through and watch the detailed video tutorial the link is given in the description now here you see that on the right side the middle uh, here is the uh, debugger button so when you will hover it will show you that turn on debugger after clicking on this element after clicking on this debugger button you will have to make that uh, drop down or that dynamic element visible within five seconds so you know that how this uh, dynamic element appear when you uh, when we type here something right then this drop down comes in so you will have to make sure like uh, when you turn on this debugger option after turning on this you have to make that drop down or that invisible element visible within five seconds okay so let's click on this on within five seconds we have to make it visible so let's click now here so now it is visible and then hold so you see that it is hold now it is there if you will inspect this element now you would be able to inspect you see that you are able to, we are able to inspect this as well as selector sub generate the selector for that inspected element so you got the selector and we are able to inspect that element as well as you can write here the selector if you want to write just that like you will not be able to verify here at this moment but no no worry you see that when you type here you get that all the drop down along with the references so this you can choose any of the these value from the drop down and you make it we are not able to verify at this moment because the debugger is on when debugger is on a script will not be executing so this uh, the call is not going from here to here and response is not coming back that is the reason that we are not able to like uh, verify but that is not a problem you already got that uh, selectors for that particular inspected element so your problem is solved and in fact you are able to build as well so this is really amazing feature it is going to save you a lot of lot of time and then once you are done you can click on this debugger button and that will go away so here you see that now if you oh, like as soon as you click here somewhere that will go away again so the thing is that <coughs> you have to make that element visible within five seconds so anything which you want to uh, like inspect let's say you're on google.com and you search for selectors of here this this kind of drop down comes right when you inspect this you are, we are able to inspect actually this one so this is easy it is not going away when you click outside then that time it goes away but it's still like if you want to uh, i mean this if you if we consider this is a dynamic element like this then you would be able to hope hold this one as well like now if you click outside or anywhere that element will exist over here and then you can inspect any of these element and you, uh, you will get the x bar for that 
so uh, this is how it is going to help you a lot any kind of dynamic element now you would be able to inspect anything like anything here you would be able to inspect them just click on this turn on button turn on debugger button within 5 seconds make that visible remember that after clicking on debugger button it will take 5 seconds to hold that element so after clicking on this debugger you have to make that element visible which is disappearing every time and then that will hold that will be there after 5 seconds then you would be able to inspect and verify okay so i hope this video helps you a lot this feature will solve your lots of problem which were like impossible do let me know in the comment section like uh, how this how you are using this feature and how it is helping so that i can improve it and make it better for you guys and will solve uh, more of your problems please share select yourself with the with the community and with your friends not everyone is yet aware and they are still wasting time in doing old ways things so this will help everyone and please subscribe to the channel for upcoming innovations on selectors hub and in automation and for uh, anything anything related to selectors hub feel free to reach out to me and please support selectors hub if you feel that it is helping you please donate be patron and support selectors hub with that thank you thank you so much